Hi guys, welcome. If you're new here, my name's Nikki. I'm a beekeeper and I make beekeeping videos. If that's something you like watching, hit the subscribe button. If you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and listening to what I have to say. I really appreciate it. Today I wanted to do just a quick Q&A video and talk about bearding. We'll talk about what it is and why bees do this. So when you first see one of your hive's beard, it can be a little distressing because it looks very, very similar to a swarm or swarming behavior. But bearding is a normal behavior that honeybees do. And they do it in response to heat and humidity. What bearding looks like, it can be a couple different things. You can see bearding as the bees clustering on a certain part of the exterior of the hive. A lot of times that is the landing board, uh, but it can be other areas. Or you can see bees kind of coming up and uh, covering the exterior of the hive. Now this, these beards can be really small and just a couple hundred bees, or it can be thousands of bees and kind of amass the entire exterior of your hive. Now, as I said before, bees do this in response to heat and humidity, but what throws new beekeepers off is typically bees will do this, not always, but typically, late in the evening and at nighttime when temps actually are decreasing. Um, so I get questions on that um, and when I tell the beekeeper that it's because of the heat um, They're like yes, but at the hottest point of the day I did not see my bees doing this and the reason for that is our temps typically get um, The warmest of that they're going to be for the day in the late afternoon At that time usually you have foragers that are coming and going so the population inside of the hive is going to be at its lowest and because you have bees coming and going, that in and of itself helps move air uh, through the hive. The bees keep the hive specific temperature to help with uh, brood and uh, specific humidity to help evaporate uh, moisture and water out of the nectar as they're turning it into honey. When your foragers come back at the end of the day, your population is gonna be the highest inside of the hive. Uh, so even though your temps have dropped um, uh, from what they were earlier in the day, it's gonna be more difficult for the bees to regulate the interior temperature and humidity of the hive with that number of bees. Now your foragers in the evening and at nighttime really don't have a job. There's nothing for them to do inside of the hive. So it's usually your foragers that you're gonna see that beard on the outside, just as a way to help the bees keep the internal temperature and humidity where it needs to be. In addition to just kind of moving out of the way um, because they don't really have a task to do, a lot of times they will beard specifically and kind of create tunnels and they will fan to help move air out or into the hive um, as necessary as well. So they have like a dual purpose uh, with the bearding. A lot of people ask, uh, once they start to see their bees uh, bearding, they will ask if they need to add additional space to, the, to their hive. Do they add, need to add a super or another box? And I would say not specifically because your bees are bearding, but uh, do your hive inspection, see how much space they have, how many resources they have, and add space to your hives uh, depending on those factors and not necessarily that your bees are bearding because bearding is a normal behavior. Now what you can do as a beekeeper to help the bees is to make sure that you have proper um, openings, you have a big enough entrance for them, you have um, a, a second entrance up at the top of the hive that's gonna help them move that air. So you just make sure that you have the appropriate, appropriate amount of ventilation that you can add as a beekeeper. And then anything that you can do to help uh, keep wildlife and other insects away from your hive is, is a good thing to do as well because when your bees are bearding and they're outside of the hive, that does put them at risk of uh, things like skunks and raccoons and wasps. So they do have a little bit of risk when they're bearding, but that's typically from other uh, wildlife. And there's lots of things that you can do to help 
kind of keep other critters away from your hives and I'll do another video about that. But specifically to bearding, uh, those are just a couple things that you can help them. But just remember that this is a normal behavior for your bees. It's not alarming. Uh, they're doing it to help uh, the rest of the hive and to help the hive produce honey and keep their brood at the appropriate temperature so that they ensure their survival going forward. If you have experience with bearding, uh, leave it down in the comment section below. Let us know what you thought the first time you ever saw your bees doing this. If you have any questions, uh, leave those down in the comment section below as well. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.